Hey guys, how you doing? Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I review TVs and right now I am testing, keep on testing this Samsung. This is a Samsung Q60R 4K HDR Quantum Dot TV from 2019. This is one of the most budget friendly Quantum Dot TVs there is from Samsung this year. And on my previous videos, I have been testing this with different games like, uh, uh, what is it? Call of Duty, Blackout, Black Ops, for different other games, and but I have not tested Game Motion Plus. So Game Motion Plus is pretty much a combination of motion interpolation and game mode to give you a much smoother gameplay. For example, if there are games that are locked at 30 frames per second, depending on your settings on Game Motion Plus, you can have the game running at uh, 60 frames per second or 120 hertz or 120 frames per second. It just depends on how you adjust your settings. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how that works. I hope you enjoy this. If you like this kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. So welcome, I'm Jolster, and let's do this. All right, guys, so let's start with this video right away. And like I said at the beginning, this is game motion interpolation. This, so this is another special feature, gaming feature that Samsung has introduced to their 2018 and 2019 lineup. You can pretty much find it right here, at external device manager, game mode settings, and then we're going down to here, game motion plus. So right now, if you want to activate game motion plus, you need to uh, turn off freezing. So let's turn off freezing. It's probably gonna turn off the screen, yes. Now you see, now we can select Game Motion Plus settings. So let's get right in here, and then we're going to turn this on. So as you notice, you can also adjust the blur reduction and judder reduction right over here. So in order for you to achieve, for example, 60 frames per second, sort of like a, an imitated 60 frames per second, this is not going to be native you have to adjust this. So blur reduction has to be at zero. So over here we can press this and turn it down to zero, right? And then judder reduction has to be all the way up to 10. So let's increase this. And this is pretty much what happened. So now we're going to into the game. What you can see is when we spin this, it's going to be a little bit more smoother also, in this game, you have the option to change between high resolution or high frame rate. So let's go here. Right now, as you guys can see, I selected high resolution. So if you want to have a high resolution with a smooth gameplay, this is probably going to be the best option for you. It runs pretty good. I like it. It's okay. But sometimes this might introduce some ghosting. You might not see it in this image right now, but uh, I do notice there is some ghosting around the character, Lara Croft right here in this case, right? But this is one of the examples that I just wanted to show you guys. Let me just move this a little bit so we can get some gameplay. There we go. The gameplay is very, very smooth and I like this. So one thing to keep in mind is that you also add input lag. So normally this TV without Game Motion Plus is about 15 milliseconds, which is very good. But when you turn this option on, the settings, the with the settings that I just show you, the input lag is going to increase to about 21 milliseconds, which is still not bad. It's very playable. It's not bad, but just keep that in mind. So I wouldn't recommend this for shooters. You know, if you are worried about the input lag, I wouldn't use this feature for shooters. But definitely for games that are locked at 60 or 30 frames per second, this probably work, will work much, much better. So now, now let's go in. Where's the remote control? Oh, here it is. Now let's go and change this to 120 hertz or 120 frames per second. So we're going back again to general. External device manager, game mode settings. Then we're going to Game Motion Plus. Now, if you want to have the uh, same simulated, pretty much a simulated 120 frames per second, both of this, the blur reduction and judder, they have to go be at 10, 
all right so this is when things are going to get interesting so what happens is that i notice that the blur it's uh you you'll see a lot of blur right here so if you don't like that this is probably not going to be the best for you honestly i don't like it it's just it's too much blur and also there's a lot more ghosting in here with this option right here i mean it's okay but i do notice there's a lot of ghosting around the character if that bothers you so this is not a great option for you also keep in mind that once you do this the input lag is going to increase to about 27 28 milliseconds something around that those numbers so it's going to be not i wouldn't suggest that for like i said like uh first person shooters all right so those are the options that you guys have just in case if you want to turn this on but let's see i'm going to show you guys my own personal settings so what i had let's go here external device manager game settings game motion plus so my own personal settings is going to be the blur is going to be a five and the judder is going to be down to three i personally i like this because it still works great and there's also no ghosting i don't see any ghosting at all now honestly i don't know what kind of frame rate this is simulating to but i just feel that it's smooth and also there is no ghosting so let's talk to this guy right here so this is probably like my favorite favorite uh values to use game motion plus all right guys so another game that takes advantage of this feature it will be something like assassin's creed odyssey this game runs in a, a high resolution but it's also logged at 30 frames per second so if you use game motion plus it will definitely give you a much better like uh, experience a much smoother gameplay i believe from this game you know this is one of uh one game that it looks beautiful but it's unfortunately it's still locked at 30 frames per second so let's see if i can get rid of this number 14. holy macro he got me good man i forgot how to play this game but uh i'm almost Oh, I got him, I got him. All right, good, good, good. So uh, yeah, guys, like I said, the settings, the values that I'm using for this gameplay for Game Motion Plus, it works really well for me. So you guys are welcome to try them if you want to. Let's go back over here, external device, manager, game motion settings, game mode settings, and then Game Motion Plus. So these are it, blur reduction up to five, general reduction down to three. If you guys want to try this, you are welcome to do so. If not, games like uh, uh, first-person shooters, they're usually running with uh, uh, higher frame rate, like 60 frames per second. And for that, I will suggest you guys to use FreeSync. The FreeSync technology on this TV works great. I haven't had any, any problem with that. These are the settings that I'm using right now. You guys are welcome to try them. I show my settings already before, so you know if you guys want to try them, you guys are welcome. But uh, yeah, guys, this is it. It runs very good. I don't see any ghosting, so that's the, that's a really cool uh, feature that you don't see. That sometimes it bothers me, sometimes it doesn't. But I notice some people it does bother uh, having ghosting. But with the settings, no problem whatsoever. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. On uh, my next video, I'm going to compare this side by side with the Samsung Q7 FN. Let's see if we see a lot of difference. How much of a difference would that make, you know, the Q7 versus this one? Oh, what is this? I'm gonna loot this. Wow, all right, cool. All right, guys, I'm Joster. I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.